Sup fans, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a quick little home video review. And today we'll be covering In The Heights on 4K Blu-ray. Coming up right now, hope you guys enjoy the show. All right guys, quiet on set. Scene one, take one. Action. Boom. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to share your friends. Also, hit that bell for notifications because that's turn a lot. Damn, I said it really quick. <laughs> All right, now let's get on to the 4K review. The film was shot on Panavision digital cameras, and it has a 4K DI, and the aspect ratio is 239 by 1. It has HDR 10, and I believe HDR 10, yeah, it probably HDR 10 plus. I'll include it if it does, and Dolby Vision. And today, I'll mostly just be covering the Dolby Vision version, and it has Dolby Atmos. All right, now let's get on to the video. Wow, for a 4K DI, this is really awesome. I think this looks a bit, actually it looks way better than Mortal Kombat 2021 because you, Washington Heights looks gorgeous. Even John M. Chu's cinematography, well, his director's eye, he wants to make, of course, poor people look rich and, or just look very good, sorry. And it shows, it's amazing. It's especially, especially around the musical numbers, especially on the song 96,000, the song, I believe is what it's called. And it's so cool. I forgot the name of the song, just to be sure, but still, uh, it's all, I love that. That's actually one of the highlights for me in the movie because it takes place all in the pool, everybody's partying and all the vibrant colors are showing up. And even the opening number, especially around the Caribbean or around the Dominican Republic scenes, it looks so cool. And one highlight I gotta give is that, of course, since is the Dolby Vision helps elevate for the colors and the night scene. Basically, I want to cover the I want to talk about the night scenes. Even though it's very dark, especially when you have the power outage scene, the whole, you know, <laughs> thing, you can still make every single detail in the dark. It is so freaking awesome. And the fireworks was popping. Every, especially, I love the scene near the finale where Usnavi looks like he's gonna go back to the Dominican Republic to fix up his dad's house, his, uh, his, uh, his home. And there's a seat, there's the scenes with, you know, the stairs where they have the little metal thing. Sorry, the little, you know, <laughs> fence thing. Sorry, I, don't, I forgot what they're called. But, but basically, every single detail, even from the little flower pots, everything in the neighborhood is very razor sharp. And it feels like you're there at Washington Heights. It is so beautiful. All right, let's get on to the audio. And in my opinion, this is demo worthy. Even It's a musical, of course, and you're going to get surrounded from the heights, from the base, from the rears, from the front. You're going to get amazing music and it is awesome basically my second favorite song of the movie when you're home oh it's it just goes crazy it's just it's nuts it's amazing especially when the chorus comes in when they say no pare sigue sigue it's so cool and even the non-musical parts the dialogue it's still crystal clear and again you feel that you're in washington so you feel like you're in these small apartments and on this neighborhood it is so cool man you feel like you're at the ghetto and the sound design is just perfect honestly what more can i say about the atmos track i know this is like very brief with the atmos track but it's perfect and I'm a music I'm a musical guy myself and I was ready to criticize and judge the audio and it's perfect. <laughs> special features, it is your basic run of the mill Warner Brothers or big studio special features package. Uh, half, I believe half of the special features is mostly just, uh, it's on the 4K disc where it just covers sing-alongs and then you also do the whole like selective scenes. You can just jump to a quick musical number scene and that's it. And also has like almost a feature length documentary on the making of the film and very insightful too. And I quite like that a lot. And so for a package, eh, it's fine. Perfectly fine really for what it is. So I have, <laughs> so if I were to give the video and <laughs> Ugh. So if I were to give the video a rating, I'll give it a perfect 10 out of 10. The Dolby Vision, the colors, and the night scenes, they are beautiful. It really feels like you're at Washington Heights. They're very beautiful, sorry. For audio, perfect 10 out of 10. It's just demo worthy, it, especially if you love musicals, you're gonna love this track. Special features, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I mean, it's perfectly fine. It basically gives you everything that you, almost everything that you wanna know. It would've been nice to have a commentary track and all that stuff, and a bit more, especially some deleted scenes or deleted musical numbers that probably from the Broadway show that did not make it here. It would've been really nice, but as a package itself, eh, it's really freaking nice, man. I'll still give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> So that is my quick home video review on In The Heights on 4K UHC Blu-ray. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you guys so much for watching my video. So let me know down in the comments section down below. Have you guys purchased In The Heights on 4K? Please let me know down in the comments section down below. I'd like to hear your opinions on it. So this is all be from my Productions signing off and hope you guys enjoyed the show.